learn how to get over 32,000 capital gold and defeat the districts in two attacks. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Carbon Fit, and I'm going to teach you how to get over 32,000 capital gold just like Cynthia. And look at that. MS Cynthia up top. They are completely maxed out. But if I go over here and I take a look at some of the attacks, it's absolutely insane what he can do. I'm just going to scroll here so you can see. He did defeated this village or district in three attacks, but over here, Barbarian Camp in two attacks. What does he do? So this is the mini synthy. So he attacks on multiple different accounts, but what he's doing is using this type of army of those sneaky archers, using these super barbarians and some of the battle rams as well. It looks like he's got some rages, the lightning as well. So let's see what he's going for. I'm, I'm just learning on the fly as well and if you guys are enjoying these videos you know what to do make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below and i don't make too many ca uh, clan capital videos but i definitely wanted to bring something to teach you guys what to do to try to mimic synthy so you can notice here how he's dropping the troops on the outside he's going to be moving his way around here and some more barbarians to the right side he's got some barbarians to the left i'll go ahead and put it on times four so we can go through many different examples here but he really just uses these sneaky archers to try to just pin uh, send them in to help pick off these buildings and around the base and when you have these sneaky archers you can just slowly pick things off so we'll go on times four here so it can really go a lot faster but yeah look at these little sneaky archers taking out the cannons taking out the giant cannons around or even i don't even remember the names of half these defenses in the clan capital do you guys it's okay he took out 46% here of the Barbarian. Let's go to the next replay. And now it's just a matter of, look, look at this. He's using some more of these sneaky archers, but then he's pairing it in with some of the rocket loons as well. So he's using some lightning spells. And I've noticed that he likes to also use rocket loons quite a bit in his clan capital raids as he makes his way around. He's not even using the rocket loons just yet because he wants to pick off, it looks like, as many of the air targeting defenses. And if that's the case, he wants to grab that air bomb. What is it? I don't even know, man. I It's over on the belt builder base and I don't even remember the name of it. But he's still using these archers to pick off everything possible, especially these air defenses those rapid rockets i think they're what they're called and then here comes the raccoons placed around the base and able to help finish this one off so that is going to get a three star the raccoons will be able to move their way through so that's one way he takes it down so let's go to another base so this would took him three attempts let's just scroll through here here's two attempts let's take a look at this what did he do here he did more sneaky archers look at this so he's just gonna pinpoint around he drops the rage off to the left and more rages where he thinks they're gonna st uh, move their way in i think what he's trying to do let me go and pause it he's dropping these rages so that it can go rage up and grab the uh I don't even know what this, what is this? The rock art, I don't even know guys. The name of these defenses, the single inferno, and then they can reach over and grab that. So that's probably what he's doing is he wants to rage so that the sneaky archers can be in the rage as they go ahead and reach for it. Then the uh, battle rams obviously open up the walls as he makes his way around. But look at that, see, there's the battle rams, but this is where the sneaky archers will be able to reach over. And then he's got the battle rams opening that, but look right here, bam. They are under rage and they can reach and take these defenses down. That's the key in his attacks, it looks like. These sneaky archers are able to help re with the rage reach over to help grab that value. And then it's a matter of just using the rest of the sneaky archers. So let's go and do a next replay, but I'm gonna go pause it. If I had to take a guess, where is he gonna drop the rage? I would say he's gonna drop one rage over here so he can reach the single target Inferno and that defense right there. And I don't know where he might drop the next one. Let me just, oh, he's got rocket loons. Okay, never mind. So he got rocket loons. So he's using rocket loons and the skeleton barrels to be able to use rocket loons off to the left side. Some more to grab the bomb tower. And he just sends these raccoons on in and he sends the skeleton barrels to go and distract that single target inferno to try to overwhelm that brilliant look at this synthy taking these bases down in two attacks this is what you want to do and we're going to get through a lot more examples let's go to the capital peak wow okay here we go 
three attacks to take down a max capital peak here. So he's using the sneaky archers, he's using some barbarians, some minions as well. So what does he use his minions on? So let's go and take a look here. He's got his archers moving their way around. He's got the super barbarian as well, but the minions look like they're kind of over to the right side. I don't know, I would have maybe just went with the archers. Uh, that's just my preference. Uh, usually I would just use the minions if they can get something that's like not air targeting. But nonetheless, he takes out all this typical attack to grab the uh, buildings on the outside, and then he drops these rages for these sneaky archers to path his way in. I'm gonna be curious, what is he gonna do for the next set, right? The sneaky archers looks like they're very effective to start an attack, but are they effective to end it? Because I usually, in the capital peak, use the sneaky archers for every attack in it as well. All right, here we go. What does he do for the next part? He's got a P.E.K.K.A. and some more sneak. Okay, this is an interesting, interesting use. He's got a P.E.K.K.A. He's got these sneaky archers. Let's go in time four around this base. And he's gonna send the P.E.K.K.A. for this town hall thing. It looks like he can pick off the single target infernos and Where's that P.E.K.K.A. gonna go? He's gonna take out this cannon, he's gonna take, yeah. So the P.E.K.K.A. under the rage spell is able to move in and help take this town hall down. Wow, okay. That is a strong P.E.K.K.A. soloing. Oh, okay, he drops a few more sneaky archers in there. So that's a nice use of the P.E.K.K.A. against the town hall if you're able to do it. And then at this point, you can drop rocket loons, you can drop some more sneaky archers. I don't think it really matters at this point. Let's go and see what he ended up, ends up using. Yeah, rocket loons probably to be quick. And he uses some lightning. Oh, he uses lightning spells all around and he just overwhelms this base. Brilliant attacks. All right, so, but let's take a look at another one of his here. So let's go here and we're gonna take a look. Let's see, details, that took three attacks, that took two. All right, let's see what he does first. So he starts off with the archers and he has a few rocket loons. Let's see, where, if we had to take a guess, where are we gonna, where is he gonna drop the rage? My guess is he's gonna drop a rage maybe like right here so he can reach the, oh, he can reach all of these buildings. That's a pretty good location right there. And then the other one would be like right here. So like right there would be one and, my, and right there would be my guess. All right, am I gonna be right? Let's see. I have literally no idea. I can be completely wrong here. Let's go and put on times four. It's got rocket loons to the bottom side because they're not our air targeting. So that's very easy. Nice use of the rocket loons there. I really like that. He's got six of these battle rams. He's battle ramming down south. I'm thinking he's gonna drop the first ray. Okay, so he drops it a little bit farther south as he's gonna make his way in. He can make his way. Okay, so he drops both of them easily on the bottom. So interesting. Maybe, maybe because he sees that he could drop one rage onto this section over here and get all that value for the next attack as the sneaky archers come in. Look at that. They even reach. Bro, these sneaky archers are OP. Are they just that much stronger at maxed out level? Let's go to the next replay. And he's got rocket loons. It looks like his cleanup attacks are the rocket loons. He ends up freezing up though these defenses. Oh, that was a brilliant freeze, getting all that value. What a great attack. This is incredible. The value that he can get in these attacks, and of course that triples. So let's go and take a look. So we just saw that one. Builder's Workshop. Let's go to Builder's Workshop. Let's take a look at this. All right, some more sneaky archers. Let's put on times four. And he's using the raid spells. Or no, he doesn't use any rage. He goes with the lightning. Look at this, he just adapts so much. But you can see the theme here. It's sneaky archers in a bunch. And then it's probably Rackaloon. So let's just go ahead and skip to the next attack here. So let's go here and let's take a look. Is it gonna be Rackaloons for this? Yes, Rackaloons and some more lightning spells as well. What does he end up lightning with seven of them? Right around and he takes out all these defenses, he sees that he could take out all this in two attacks. That is why brilliant stuff. And then the rock loons come easily in to help take that down. So let's see what happened here. So what does he use? He uses the barbarians, these sneaky archers, and some battle rams. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at attack number two. I know you guys are like, Carvin, play it. But I mean, you could kind of see the pattern. Now the second attack is using rocket loons, and then he probably gets close. And then he finishes it off with probably some more rocket loons. Yeah. So it looks like Synthi is using a combination of super barbarians, the sneaky archers, battle rams, and then rocket loons to clean up. I found one more example of Synthi hitting the capital peak. And let's see, this was in three attacks. And this was the one where the town hall is about to go down. Look what he has. 
the P.E.K.K.A. He likes to pair up the P.E.K.K.A. He finishes his base off here, uses that free spell, the Frost, I guess, and then the P.E.K.K.A. comes in under Rage and absolutely destroys this Town Hall. So it looks like the P.E.K.K.A. with some Sneaky Archers and the Rockaloons paired into the Capital Peak is a great use case if you want to get those bases down, get a lot of Capital Gold, and be up in that leaderboard with the rest of your clan. So Synthi just makes it look so easy. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video here today. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.